Oh, hey guys. Today I am showing you how to multiply. This will be technically my first video. Um, I'm just going to show you how to multiply if you're having trouble with multiplication. Uh, this is meant for starters, not people that are going to the end. This is simple multiplication, very beginning, nothing else. So, if you don't know multiplication, it's when you take a number and times it by any type of number. Let me give you an example. We could take 5 times 5 and 5 times 5 would equal most people people that don't know multiplication will think 10 but it's actually but technically it's 25 because it, how the multiplication works think of it as 5 but plus 5 more and then it will be 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 that will be 5 fives and you add 5 fives to get 25 it's very sim simple very easy now let's move on to something a bit more difficult this one second here so why don't we try 12 times 10 Now, this will be more difficult. It's the same thing as the last one. You just take 12 and take it and add 10 more 12s. It will, it will be 12. So technically, it would be... Just a second. So that would be equal to 10 twelves. 10 twelves. Now that would make the problem a lot harder. But multiplying, it makes it easy. So if you know the answer, you can leave it in the comments. But I'm going to tell you anyway. The answer is 120. Because 10 times. No, I'll teach you about the 10. But yeah. So it would be 120, because you're adding 10 to 12, you're making 112, but adding 9, meaning it's now 10 12s, and you add it to it. Let me show you something else. Let's do this. So, so technically, if you take, well, if you multiply, for instance, five against anything else, it will be five plus the amount of fives. So how it will work? We got five ten, times ten, four times ten, and five times eleven. And you can pause the video right here and figure it out. But I will give you the answer soon. But how this works is 5 times 10, meaning it will be 10 fives that you must add together. There is no extra. It's not 11 fives. It's not 9 fives. It's 10 fives. 10 fives. And 10 fives will equal 50. Because... That's how multiplication works. And that could work against anything. If the number is 10 and above, then it will be a hundred. If it's a hundred and above, then it will be thousands. And you can get the list. If it's a thousand and above, it will be millions. It will probably be millions. And it just keeps continuing. So, 5 times 10 will be 50. And that's equal to 5 
it will equal to five 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 tenths that would be added. And this is what this is what it would normally look like. This is multiplication. Simpler can save more room. Now let's see what is this. Now if you I want you to take notes in a way. Let me see. Yeah. So you can multiply time here. So let me give you a example. Another example. So can you tell the math behind this? I'll give you a few seconds. Okay, time's up. You can pause the video if you want, but. So this, the math behind this is that this, this is equal to 11, so the 11 is equal to 11 of, of, uh, it's 11 of a number, and that 11 of a number of any number, so that means it could be 11 once, so it mean it will be 11, or it, for instance, 11 times 5, which would be 55. So, it's pretty simple. Um, so, so, that's how it works. Um, that's how you multiply. I hope this helped you with multiplication and more. Ask any questions in the comments and I shall see and I will see you later. I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.